Now, I'm pretty sure that 99.9% .9 of all of you watching have been to a fast food restaurant before. Now, we're all probably not very proud of it, but I think we all hate how when you order the beautiful burger that's pictured right in front of you looks so much different when you pay for it. And I've always wondered, you know, how do they make these beautiful pictures about the burgers, but they actually turn out like crap? Are they scamming us? Are they ripping us off? Is this burger plastic? I want to find out. All right, so we're starting off with some fries. <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> Are you kidding me? They basically put the fries and toothpicks into a little sponge. So it looks a lot more appealing in the box. I'm pretty sure in the restaurants, they just pour a bunch of salt over it and then shove it in the box. And they usually give you too little as well. <laughs> now next up, this is apparently how they advertise a piece of cake versus how it's really like in reality. So they have some bread with some cardboard and they add shaving foam. Shaving foam, because it looks nice and white and creamy. And then they add some blue shaving foam. Add some sparkles in the top. And there you go. You've got yourself a commercial friendly cake. First is the real one, which still looks all right actually, but a lot less appealing. And now how about a burger? You've got the uh, you've got the meat, you've got the bread loaf, and then you're gonna warm up a piece of tin. Or what? What's that? <gasps> nah. Is that how they add the barbecue stripes? They're fake. Some cheddar on the side. Okay. Some lettuce on top. I guess it's all real lettuce and real cheddar, but they add toothpicks. Aha. So it doesn't fall apart. Where's the sauce though? I want some. I want some sauce. Ooh. There's the sauce. They don't actually add the sauce on the inside. They just shove it out on the outside. <laughs> oh, the difference. Yeah, the difference is definitely there, guys. So what about ice cream? We need some instant mashed potatoes to fake ice cream in a commercial. Okay, I didn't know that there was potato in ice cream. I don't like that. They add food coloring to it. And then I guess they just mix it all together until it's some nice paste. Okay, it's actually quite smart because, you know, when you're trying to make a commercial about ice cream, you, you can't have it melt while you're taking the pictures. So instead, they use mashed potatoes and they, they use it in a scoop and just put it on a cone. Okay, so that's real. The cone is real. It's not a plastic cone. And then ju they just add the sparkles, a piece of chocolate. Okay. I actually didn't know that the... Oh my God, look at the real one. The real one's literally dripping. I wouldn't want to try that though. Please, please give me the real ice cream. Oh no, we've got a piece of chicken or well, I should say a whole chicken and he's spraying literally paint on it. This is actual paint. You cannot eat paint. He is ruining this poor chicken. And that's how they, that's how they do it. They don't even cook it. Oh, that looks disgusting. Seriously, the real chicken looks terrifying. Oh god, they don't even cook the chicken. They just paint it and it looks cooked and juicy, but it ain't, it ain't. How about a soda ad? We've got an aspirin with some soda. So it keeps bubbling, of course. That makes so much sense. Because in real life, it's like that. It's, there's, there's barely any bubble in it. Ah, that's smart though, that's smart. You know when you order a piece of cake and you want some cream on top? Well, in commercials, they use shaving cream. Shaving cream, yes. Wow. <laughs> Let's go to a pancake restaurant. Okay. They put pieces of cardboard in between the pancakes to make it look like they're more fluffy. And so they stack better. And they use motor oil, not even true maple syrup. Is, is, is motor oil cheaper than maple syrup or does it just look better? Okay, moving on to a burger. Again with the toothpicks to hold the ingredients in the place. Okay, and add like a little sponge which adds weight. They put vegetable oil for a juicy look. Dude, this is a ripoff. Even though that burger looks really good. Oh my God. Dude, the real one looks absolutely awful. All right, what's this? We need some jello, some glue, and some cereal. The glue prevents the cereal from sinking. Oh God. They use jello for that? Are you kidding me? Real versus commercial. I mean, the commercial one does look a lot better. I'd, I'd love to eat that. So in beer glasses, they add soap, which creates a longer lasting foam. Dude, did I feel ripped off? I don't want no soap in my beer. That's disgusting. I mean, that guy was really bad at pouring. The real one was, you know, the real one's a lot different sometimes. So I want to find out how they do it with pizzas. Apparently, they screw holes in them and put glue on the cheese. 
to give it more stretch. Wait, what? Wait, what do you mean? Oh my god. No way. Wait. So the screws keep the pizza on the cardboard, and this is glue. It looks like cheese, but it's literally glue that makes it stretchy. Dude, I feel so ripped off looking at all these really delicious pizza ads, making me hungry. Well, realistically, it's just glue. Nobody eats glue. That's disgusting. You can't even eat that. I, I wouldn't recommend it. Ah, cacao powder, some glue. What? What's with glue, man? Liquid starch. Okay, and then they mix it up, and what? It's chocolate cake or something? Or chocolate pudding? Chocolate ball. Oh no, it looks like liquid chocolate. It's it's slime. Real versus fake. Gosh! Soy sauce has a richer color than coffee themselves. Okay, what? Um What? What is he doing? Bubbles? Nah mate. Nah 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 nah. Oh my god, it's literally just soap bubbles with soy sauce. It ain't even real coffee. <laughs> oh, we gotta fix up the strawberries real quick. Let me grab my lipstick. Hmm, that's better. Add some water. Yes, great job. Wow, looks really nice and fresh. Hairspray. Oh my god, they don't even use water. What's hairspray? Gosh, what are they doing to this poor chicken? Shoe polish. They're putting shoe polish on it with browning sauce to brown the chicken? Nah, you're kidding, right? Oh god, that's disgusting. Shoe polish with brown Looks cooked! Yeah? Don't serve me that! Oh gosh! Disappointed. Oh, here we have the mashed potatoes again. Is this ice cream again? We, we've already seen this. Why are you repeating this to my face? Yeah, it is ice cream, but this time it's chocolate ice cream. Not in a cone, though. With glue. With, with glue and food coloring. For the chocolate sauce! Oh my god. Nah. Nah. Gives a melted look without actually melting. Cause it's mashed potatoes! Ooh, cinnamon bun. I love cinnamon buns. But is that like shaving cream on top? Or? Oh, it's glue. Yeah, that's nasty. Honestly, guys, I, I'm, I'm disappointed in this world. I, I'm disappointed. I thought the food actually looked really good. Just when you order it, it always looks like crap. And this is why! It's because it's misleading! Is that even legal? Is it even legal to mislead your customers like this? Because clearly, you order a mashed potatoes ice cream, but you get real ice cream. You don't actually get the mashed potatoes. Isn't that misleading? You know what the saddest part is about these videos? It's that they're actually wasting food to show us how fake food is made. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. Rest in peace to all those beautiful mashed potatoes. We'll catch you in the next one. Bye. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, click on that subscribe button. And also, make sure to check out the new exclusive Jelly Army t-shirts on jellystore.com.